Today we have a 2007 Infiniti G35 in the shop for repair. Uh, we have a, a current draw. Uh, it seems uh, the car starts fine every day, but if you let it set for two or three days, uh, the battery goes dead. We've uh, had the opportunity to troubleshoot this. We have a full library of removal guides for the CD changer, the subwoofer amplifier, along with the Bose amplifier. Please see our website, carstereohelp.com, for those removal guides if you need help with that. But uh, we're going to show you how to remove the stereo from this vehicle today. And we're going to start with... Uh, setting the parking brake and shifting to a lower gear. Uh, at the gear shift we're going to pry this plastic piece down from the gear shift. This is going to give access to the spring that's uh, or the locking spring on the gear shift. Uh, be very careful we find that uh, doing this uh, in the grass is a bad idea because this clip can fly off and you'll have problems find, finding that in the grass. Now we're going to remove the gear shift and we're going to place this spring uh, back on the knob because this uh, gear shift knob will go back on with the spring on it and just slide back down and lock in place. Uh, we're gonna shift, we shifted to a lower gear before we started here and we're going to take our pry bar and pry along the back edge and lift this panel up from around the gear shift. This is going to give access to several connectors here. One is on the back of the panel and we're going to push the trigger down on that connector and release it. And then there's a second one that goes in to the right here. Uh, these connectors are all keyed. Uh, again, the uh, trigger on these, you push this trigger down at the back, it releases the lock, and you're able to remove this panel. So we're going to set this to the side. We're going to remove one exposed screw here on the right. Again, our full library of removal guides for car stereo and equipment for the cars is located at carstereohelp.com. We're going to remove the screw on the left here. And then we're going to pull this panel back from the dash and it's going to release. Now we have noticed one trick with this panel. Uh, when it comes to reinstalling, you're going to take this little panel and push this out. And then when you go to place this back in place, there's going to be a little tab that has to fit up to the opening right here over here on the right. And if you don't get that in correctly, then the, the panel doesn't uh, line up properly. And we're going to... We're going to remove the uh, ribbon cable at the top. There is a trigger on that as well. And we're going to push that trigger down and release the connector. We're going to leave the rest of these connectors on here because we happen to have the passenger airbag here. and We don't want to throw a false sense to the uh, computer and uh, have you go to the dealership and reset this. Again, when it comes to put this panel on, this is the tab here that you want to fit through the opening in the front panel here when you go to replace this. Now with this panel removed, we have two more screws that need to be removed. One here on the right and one here on the left. This is going to get us to the next step for the removal of the stereo. Uh, again, we have current draw with this stereo, so we're going to get this into the shop and see what the cause is. Now this is going to allow us to grasp the edges of the panel and pull this forward. We have the ribbon cable went to the front that uh, we already disconnected from this previous panel, so we're going to set this to the side. And this is going to give us access to uh, two screws down at the bottom of the car stereo, one here on the bottom right, one here on the bottom on the left. back up to the top because there are two screws here as well. Uh, the display module, uh, the bracket on the display module covers the brackets for uh, removing the car stereo so we're going to remove these two screws as well. This is going to allow us to pull the uh, display module forward. There is a connector on the back of this as well. Uh, all the connectors here are keyed so they only fit one way and again we're going to push the trigger down on the connector release the lock and this will allow us to disconnect the changer the uh, display module uh, now we have the entire car stereo with the uh, control module in the brackets is going to move forward we're going to start with removing the connectors at the top of the module one on the left one on the right release the trigger and this allows us to pull the stereo further forward 
and then we're going to get to the rest of these connectors here. We have uh, several connectors here, the antenna on one side, and it's got a small trigger on the side of it, and that's going to release and let us remove it. The main antenna as well, the pink one has a trigger on it. All these connectors have triggers on them and allows us to move it forward. Again, all these connectors are keyed, so they only go back to one spot on the car stereo. Okay, and these connectors are all different sizes, again, and th which they only fit back to one specific spot on the back of the car stereo. Uh, the the uh, antennas as well, they're, they're color-coded. This is the pink one for the pink connector and the other ones Satellite. remaining goes here. This satellite. is satellite and the main antenna. Now this is how you remove the stereo from a 2007 and 2008 Infiniti G35. Hope this video has been helpful. Uh, before sending for repair be sure to remove the four screws on each side of the stereo so that you can keep the main control box and uh, mounting brackets and then put it back together. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.